Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken. This is the blind playthrough of Supreme Jerk difficulty and episode 42. Still only got two death to our name and uh, we do have the Goldfisher Wind Farm and the Scar Collector Mine. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting area because there are going to be a lot of enemies. Hangry the Clown. Ah, maybe you Mamons can help us out. You see. The godfishers were traveling this way with some fresh kite-making materials, but they ran into some giant bisons and they kind of got them trapped. We don't give a wet fart about the godfishers. Oh, but they're poor slaves. Their plight has touched our hearts. And if you take care of the bison, we'll grab the meat stickers uh, victims. And our boss, Risky Brisket, will give you something cool for your trouble, huh? She's down at Meat Clown. Near the Godfisher Shrine. What are you really going to do with the slaves? Nothing. We promise. We're gonna have them over for dinner and then say adios. We'll check it out. Meat back on the menu, cabron. We'll eat like king. Uh, this here leaves into the Goldfisher Wind Farm. Okay, cool enough. Well, we definitely help the slaves, but we're potentially going to kill all of uh, the others. Good. Hit both. And we're starting the fight. Very good. I have to wonder, does that work? You need to be Animal Whisperer level 10, but it works. Fabulous. Good. One of the Bisons now works for us. Temporarily, that is. The other one unfortunately needs to go. Ah, uh, we're not... Uh, I was about to say I don't want to use precision strike yet. Never mind. One hits, one continues to hit, and one continues to hit. Love it. Just super solid damage. And Hogbite. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, not sure why we didn't attack more, but okay. It's Mark this guy. Shoot this guy. 1100, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, Murphy. Sets a nice little ambush. Shot into headshot. Nice work, cabros. We'll take those slaves down to Meat Clown and fatten them up. All right, we're setting hey, them free. We tell the jokes around here, Pendeos. And if you ain't joking, then you're dead. The payasos don't stand for no funny business, comprende? Uh, well, hmm. I like the hardest, but I now you'll see like me. effing them up you'll even more. Good, Hogbite takes a nice little zip. Murphy. Good. 
moves over to here. Just out of curiosity, what's our chance of hitting this guy? Good enough. Ramos. Uh, one shot. Many of you already heavily injured. I like that. And soften up this guy. Okay, cool. We're good. We're very good. <laughs> okay, Ramos, my man. You don't need to burn. Hawk bite. Bite can move up and hit one of them at the expense of burning a little bit. If that's the price, so be it. Ah, decent hit. One hits, one crits, uh, central, yeah, one softens him up even further, and now it's central's time to shine. There we go, central just got him down. Demoralize those three. We're good. Move to here. Oh yeah, good hit. I like it. And we're just stunning all three of them because that's the most efficient way. The stun is disgustingly good. Effectively only one of them can can act. And she hasn't done anything. She Okay, I stand corrected. Right, party, pal, uh, party pal is finishing all of them. Oh, but hits for over a thousand, and then just slices this guy open. Uh oh, wrong gun. That was three times 60% uh, uh, shot and all three missed. One eats a bit as well. We're good. Vehicle ornaments. I like what I'm seeing. The clowns didn't like 
that they could eat uh, the slaves. I can tell you what's going to happen with the sacrifices. We're going to go into the Godfisher farm and I will not let any of them escape. There is, I cannot imagine uh, a thing that the game would offer me for letting, uh, letting one escape. The game could come up with a sob story for either of them, but that's rather not going to happen. Uh, the clowns are here. Fair enough. Oh hi! <laughs> Bienvenidos to meet Clown Barbecue. <laughs> hey, clowns gotta eat too, right? <laughs> now, what do you want? We got the clown burger. <laughs> I don't try to be funny. That's my job. Now, what is it going to be? We already had one of your burgers. We were here yesterday. Remember? <laughs> you jokers think I'm a fool, <laughs> not a clown. <laughs> if you were here yesterday, prove it. How'd you feel after you... So, so you had had a clown burger. <laughs> oh, my memory's slipping. <laughs> uh, fine, you passed the burger challenge. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> now I gotta find some other sucker. <laughs> Lights! Good. Can we ambush uh, them? Because these guys are not going to go anywhere, I can promise you that. Hogbite steps up there. And all of them are nicely engaged in combat. Fabulous. Ramos just crushing it. I absolutely like what I'm seeing. Oh, but 1600. Oh, this guy is crazy. Just enough to rally everybody. One triple hits into flame tank. <laughs> that worked very well. It's here and continues to hit. Quan, you're doing a great job. Risky business. Headshot. Ah! 
Don't think that there will be a second round, but you never know. We got a really good drop on to them. See, and this is where I think that Central is coming in a little bit shy. He just does deal the same level of damage that I would expect from others. Straight onto his head. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Now, Central needs a better weapon. I guess jokes on them. the helmet what okay that can only be a joke why would you wear a toaster as a helmet Okay, well, mangled asphalt, not much to see here. And we got the godfishers. Yeah, uh, we're not going to leave. I can s tell you that yes, die is the right option. But it's neither our hair that we're going to die in a clownish fashion. Nor are we going to die. What is going to happen though is uh, you're going to be effed up. <laughs> Flamethrower best. Flamethrower best thrower. Could move to here and then fly flame five people. Oh yeah, that's good. Moving up. Couple of free shots. Triple hit over here. That one, on the other hand, I gotta give Central the ultimate is good. Like his signature move. Reckless attack. <laughs> Two thousand on both of them. Holy smokes. You die. 
Everybody here is demoralized. I like that. Central moves back and takes a bit of cover. Got him. Almost got him. Uh, not quite, though. Listen, taking these three out is still the best bet. down couple of crits more hits more crits and how about we're just putting up an ambush Look at that! Ambush even worked. I shall play. Not sure why that guy was running in all the way, but okay. Okba just went down. And we do have a sniper up there. Major Tomcat, keep it going. No! Ramos needs healing. Sometimes you're saying Vamanos Ramos. Charges up, gets the Stormer perk, uses it right away to send this guy an important message. As in, don't fuck around with us. Then overheals. And uh, Central gives everyone more action points. Hogbite. That goldfisher is almost, almost uh, there, but not quite. Not quite hits. And then we're beginning to run up. Central. Okay, we're gonna deal with that in a second. One shot with all five of them, that was a good one. One more. Very nice. That's a nice hit and headshot almost got him. Fantastic. No! Um, how about we're dealing with that guy first.
And wow. Well, we could hit with a grenade, but I think that's not the best course of action. Central gets Stormer perk. It's this guy. Uh, just a bit shy in terms of damage. I'm telling you, if uh, he had a bit more damage, that whole thing would have looked very different. Good, well, that's one down. That's well, two down. And Ramos moves up. Cool. Your cryo grenade means nothing. Matter of fact, I can promise you that you're not going to survive the next round. Ogbite charges up. Oh yeah. Quan runs all the way up there. Told you you're not going to survive the next round. Very good. Um, who went down? I think it was Murphy. Unfortunately, this time we got a bit of an injury, but we're okay. Cool. These guys are by far my most hated uh, gang. I mean, uh, the game does a phenomenal job in making all of the gangs really, really unlikable or crazy, loco. But this one is just so over the top. Fishers, who would have thought? I've already been at the headquarter of these stupid uh, payasos and killed the great joke. So I welcome the opportunity of root, uh, completely root uprooting that gang.
All right, central. Starts with a big fat explosion in the middle. That's good. That's what you like to see. And how about moving to here? And I start liking the flamethrower. It just deals a lot of damage. And it's good at what it's supposed to do, right? Central charges up. Kills one of them, which is great. Now let's set up the next one. Five thousand hit points. But luckily at this point we are doing very well with our damage. Uh, I just can't kill him. I wanted that leader multi-kill as bad as the next guy. Just didn't work out. Hot fight. Kills one and uh, takes away the other guy's action. hit another hit couple of shots Okay, why not? It's Let's mark him. Great crit. I like that. Murphy moves up and uh, we should generally be okay. Got one harvester. That might go for Quan. Or maybe just shouts for devotion, who cares? No, he actually hits Ramos and he hits him pretty hard. Okay, we got it. Yep. Yep. A lot of hits, but they are not really meaningful. Like hitting for 12 hit points with all due respect isn't really cutting it at this point. That is cutting it. One hit. Fabulous. You know, we're just uh, keeping the extra shots for the next encounter. And Ramos, my good friend, you just need a meal. How about the spice and steak to get you back up to track? 
Ooh. Bison steak gives well fed plus one action point. Uh, yeah, well, we're keeping those. And I should use uh, cigars and smokes more because that would give us crit chance. Beginning of the playthrough, I did a lot of that. Nowadays, not so. Oh, proton X. Hmm. Bladed weapon. 140 to 201. What are we rocking? Hmm, that's actually not a bad weapon. Hundred forty, uh, hundred fifty to two hundred one. So if we modify that, more hit chance. And then more damage. Hmm. The poison is also not bad, but that Grand Slam weight seems better. I think that's actually a really good weapon. Not gonna lie. Plasma Hammer looks good as well. Plasma Hammer 90 to 230. I like the reckless attack uh, that the Patriarch's prototype is uh, doing. And this here is good against robots, whilst this weapon here is good against humans. So I have to wonder, is that uh, Proton Axe better against robots and vehicles, or just keeping the blade? Because 30% more damage is nothing to sneeze at. That's quite consequential. That is quite consequential. What? Cuddles the bear? Oh wow. Talking about rather strong opposition. Things are getting ugly. Cuddles should be ours. There shouldn't be a discussion about that. Thank you, Cuddles. Appreciate you. What is wrong? Why, why would you attack Cuddles? You just tamed him. Wasted action. Lucia sprints up. Hits this guy in the legs. Uh, then hits him in the hat. He does have a lot of hit points though, so... Marshal Kwon. Takes a pretty central position here. Headshot and kill and cover more hits. I'm trying to get 
And the ones that do have moderate hit points. Instead of focusing on the big guys. Alright, Central could get that kill. There we go, good job Central. Demoralizes that guy. Uh, Spiky Steve, we could, I think, tame as well. We're going to find out soon. Good hit. I like it. Headshot. Oh, let's try that again. Quick draw reload and that should be yet another shot. Like I said, say what you want about uh, good old Murphy. Spotted. He knows what he's doing and he does it very well. Crazy amount of damage. I would love to keep Cuddles. Having 3000 hit point bear is not bad at all. Give me an indication. Can I get him? Oh yeah, I can get him. Good. That takes care of this guy. <laughs> nice. Central hits him. I think Ramos is just going to, going to go through those 500, uh, 5,000 hit points much quicker than Central could. But Central at least starts making a bit of progress here. Multi kill for central. Very nice shots. Murphy moves up. Got him down to like what, 20 hit points? All right, here we go. The one thing that I will say is we could definitely use another one with mechanics, uh, just because of um, the mechanical, uh, the mechanical uh, takeover of robots. And if Central wouldn't have had so many damn skills that he had learned by this point, uh, I think I would give him that. Maybe he can actually, because why not? Um, the other option here is to get let Lucia uh, get it. She does have all of her core skills done. And you know, I mean that whole nerd stuff isn't too bad. 
to have it on her. Sure, she even has two points to spend. I'll do that and we're good. Someone really didn't want us to get uh, these chests. Creepy doll, crit resistance 5%, I love it. And that is a good armor, spectral assault armor. Nine armor, higher detection time, that's not bad. I mean, power armor uh, for him would be better at the moment, but I don't have a power armor chest, so might not be too bad. Yeah, armor, we it's okay uh, but we could get still get a bit better armor here and there guardian semi auto pistol uh, that's not bad, but I think our pistol is better. Yeah, the K-Cannon is indeed better. Bypasses all of the classical resistance. We good. We very good. Look, the rest still looks like a very, very large area. I hate to do it, but we're... Uh, far far above that uh, half hour uh, that I originally wanted to do so let's explore the l l uh, remainder of the cavern in the next episode together and then I think there is yet another uh, map that we need to explore this year is definitely very combat intense a lot of things are going on but I like it it's fun it's good fun uh, that the builds are finally coming together and that we're dealing a very respectable amount of damage I might say. Thanks for watching guys. If you uh, liked uh, what has happened and uh, dislike the uh, godfishers as much as I do then make sure that we keep the like button safe and secure. I heard that they were looking for it. Take care and have a good one.